okay, it says F and G are defined by these formulas. So we have F. G uh, R and S are the two regions above. Okay, good. Let H be the vertical distance. So H is the vertical distance between F and G. So vertical up and down in S. So H is this distance. That's the distance h. But that distance will be different depending on what x coordinate we are at. So h would be some function of x. Uh, find the rate at which h changes with respect to h, x. So we want to find dh over dx, which is the same thing as saying we want to find h prime of x. Uh, we learned earlier in the year that anytime you have a vertical distance on a graph, that vertical distance, change color here, that vertical distance, h of x, is simply computed by taking the top function, subtract the bottom. So you can use your calculator to figure out which of these two functions is top and which is bottom. It turns out that this is f, and the other one is g. So I take the f function, just double checking here to make sure I didn't make a mistake. So I take the f function, and I subtract from that the g function. Now, you are allowed to use your calculator on this test, so you can literally type f and g into your calculator and then use your calculator to take the derivative uh, to get the correct answer and you get full credit. I suspect that they're going to design problems where even though you can use your calculator, they'll cleverly create a problem where you really can't. So I'm going to do this one by hand just as practice uh, for the upcoming AP test. So uh, let's see, that means h of x would equal f. 1 plus x plus e raised to the x squared minus 2x. And then all of that is subtracts in the parenthesis x to the fourth plus, I'm sorry, minus 6.5 x squared plus 6x plus 2. This problem was originally um, in the calculator section, so they did allow a calculator to be used. So literally, uh, again, on your calculator, you can just have f in your calculator, g in your calculator. You put into your calculator an h, which is just f minus g, and then you use math 8 to find the derivative. But if we were doing it by hand, it's really not too bad. You just keep going. So then you say h prime of x will equal the derivative of 1 is 0. The derivative of x is 1. The derivative of e to the something is going to be e to that same something multiplied by the derivative of the something. So the 2x minus 2 right here, that's, this is the derivative of this, that's the derivative of this. Put that off a little bit. Then I would have the minus right here. So minus parenthesis 4x cubed minus 2 times 6.5, you don't have to do the arithmetic, 
x plus 6 plus 0. So that's my formula for h prime of x. The final step would be to simply rewrite that formula uh, plugging into the formula 1.8. And you wouldn't have to do any uh, simplification at all, just simply write out the formula. So if they give you a problem where they, in some fashion, cleverly figure out a way to make it so you can't use your calculator, uh, just remember you don't have to do algebraic or numeric simplification. Uh, one exception to that is if you're working a problem and you end up with something like f of 3, uh, there will be some way in the problem to find out the value of f of 3. So you can't leave it like that. Uh, the final result on this ends up being negative 3.812. So if you did it on your calculator, I think I may have set this up for that. No, I didn't. Okay. So if you did it on your calculator, this is the value you should be getting. As long as you get that value, you get one point. If you did it without a calculator, as long as you had this blue statement, and you had plugged into each and every x 1.8, you would also get the one point. Uh, if you did it by hand, they would expect to see h prime. That would be a second point. If you did it on your calculator, you have to show that you are entering it into your calculator. So what you'd have to write on your calculator would be this. Let's copy this page over. So what you'd have to have on your calculator would be, uh, you'd put into your calculator the F and the G, and then on your paper you'd have to write H of X is equal to F subtract G, but to show them what you're doing, and then you can write the derivative of H, just like your calculator shows, at x equal 1.8, and then if you have the value, negative 3.812, uh, you'd get full credit for doing that. So uh, on the calculator, if you did it on your calculator, you get one point for writing this little piece, h prime, and one point for the answer. So the problem is worth two points total.